بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, so now in this uh, video, I'm going to show you some of the issue with the ASA V GNS3 image. When I was trying to upload, there was some uh, quick errors. Uh, let me quickly show you and we'll also see the workaround. So what I did is I tried to install this 9.8. Uh, version, the newer version of the ASA V images. So when I was trying to do that, uh, like if you see, uh, it's the same process you now, like uploading the images, you need to go to the import appliance, and select the ASAV appliance and then go back and uh, make sure that you have this version or you can just create a new version 9A2 and then you can upload the image. So the image which I'm trying to upload here is going to be my 9.A. version. That's the uh, version which I'm using here. Let me just quickly see. Then now this is the one which I'm actually uploading. So I'm not going to upload this again because it's already uploaded. Now, once you click on upload, basically it's the same process. Now you get this, uh, you get this option and this is the same option. I'm going to start the device. So I'm not going to disturb this one because this is something already working. So whenever you start the device and get into the console, it goes with the booting process. You can see the 9.8.1 version and basically it boots up. It takes some time for the booting process. And once it goes into the booting process, it's going to show you some kind of message. So it will reboot one more time, probably, and then it will stop here. That's where I can see it's running in a KVM virtual environment. And this is the error message, what you'll see. The Lina to use serial port, this is where it stops. Again, after some time, I tried to press enter and then I tried to restart, but actually it was not an issue with the image. So initially I thought it might be an issue with the image, I try to download uh, multiple different images with a similar kind of versions. And I found almost the same um, error message throws up for all these different version of the images, even the official images which you download. Now, again, you can see first time it, it's going to show you this and then it's going to reboot. And after rebooting also, I have found the similar kind of error. And let me quickly show you anyway the booting process is going on. So uh, for this, there is a kind of a workaround you have to do if you are doing these things in the GNS3 with this ASAV image. As you can see, it's going to start. So let's wait for this message to come up and then I'll also uh, go into that solution. Here you can see it starts here. Now the quick workaround for this is uh, by default, the console port will be a VNC inside that. We have to change the console port to telnet. That's what we have to do. Uh, simple, this is a solution what we have to follow. Let me quickly show you the same thing here. Uh, let's go back to my server. I'm going to stop this device. Either you can change it from here, stop the device and change it from here. But if you change it from here, uh, it is going to change only for this particular device. So I'm going to simply uh, remove this. And you have to change this from the template. So from the template itself, you need to go to configure template and change the console connection to telnet and then click OK. Now, once you do this again, now if you could drag and drop the device here and start the device, and once you start the device, try to go into the console. Now this will open up the console onto your uh, telnet connection, like secure CRT or putty, whatever the integration you did with the GNS3. And I should be able to see the CLI here. And also I should be getting into the command line. So we'll wait for this to come up. There's something very good, uh, probably, even though initially I have found this uh, problem, but, you know, always I wanted to use the secure CRT or some other uh, put software where we can copy the text. That's something more uh, better option. And that's what you can find this in the newer versions. So if you have, if you're going through with my older videos, probably you will find those things, but this is kind of a quick workaround you need, you have to do in case if you find those kind of errors. So let's wait and verify. As you can see, this is my uh, device, which is uh, still booting up. And hopefully it will be ready. And I should be able to see the command line. So let's wait for this. But again, for the first time, it will do reboot uh, one time. That's something a kind of a common. It will, it will do shutdown and then it will reboot once again. So let's wait and observe these messages here. As you can see, it is uh, again rebooting. 
So from the next time onwards, whenever you add the device, you don't need to change this thing because whenever you make any changes here, it's going to apply for the template, which means in the future, whenever you drag and drop any of the ASA devices, it's going to show up or it's going to open up via secure CRT only. So it's booting up and okay, now you can see the command line here. Now this is kind of a workaround you have to do. You can see I'm using this 9.8 version and uh, compatible I can go with ASGM version and this is all the same thing again. So this is a kind of a quick uh, thing you need to know uh, the changes what I actually observed. And probably this is signed up a workaround which I have found on the internet and I would like to share the same thing with you.